Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. How about you? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm happy to see you here. Thank you. Thank Welcome. you. Welcome. Welcome to the class. How was your day? It is was calm. Okay. But, but, but the weather is so hot. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I wish I lived um, like in Chalatenango, but I'm talking mm -hmm. about the, the highest point of Chalatenango, right? So, yeah. yeah. Because the weather is so hot. Um, yeah. Where do you live? Uh, I live in La Libertad, but uh, uh, in this day, in, in the, during in the week, I work in, in Cabañas. So, so you had to travel or you yes. stay there? I, I, I stay here in the week. Ah, okay. And, and Friday, I'm here. Ah, all right. So what is the difference in the weather? Which one is better, La Libertad or? or... In, in, this, in this place is hor ho horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Is ho hotter. Oh, it's hotter than La Libertad. Yes. Really? So, yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, at least during the weekend, you can have a nice weather, right? Yes. You can enjoy that. I mean, I live in the same house during every day. So every day I have to deal with the same weather. So look at the bright side. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, hello everyone. How are you tonight? Uh huh. Hello. Is anybody there? I mean, no se peleen por hablar. Relax one by one. <laughs> Take it easy. I can see Erika. Erika, hello. How are you? Hi. A little bit tired, but I'm here. How was your day? heavy really heavy really, really oh heavy. my gosh yes sorry to hear that i hope <laughs> tomorrow could be better <laughs> i hope it too <laughs> yeah all right mirna how about you how was your day hi how are you good good um busy but but good okay good right. <laughs> a little yeah. bit tired but it's normal at this time but it's okay i'm here <laughs> yeah i don't know why but monday and tuesday they tend to be tiring i don't know why but that happens to me too but mm -hmm. let's look at the bright side <laughs> the bright side is that we are here in the class ready to learn okay everybody welcome to the class and thank you so much for being on time today we are going to check a different topic from the unit number one what was the topic that we studied yesterday do you remember uh -huh. <laughs> the advantage and disadvantage of channels uh Yes, very good. We started the advantages and disadvantages of distribution channels. So we are going to continue talking a little bit about that topic. And of course, we are going to start another topic for today. Okay, so today we have like a lot of things to do. Okay, so um, I hope all of you can be ready to participate. Remember, the more you participate, the more you learn. So let's start. I'm going to share the presentation. Give me a second. Let's see, let's see. 
Do, 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 do. Okay, it's a little bit slow. Give me a second. Can you see what I'm sharing, everyone? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. Excellent. Okay, so today is May 16th. Okay, it's Tuesday. We are in the week number one, unit number one. So the topic that we are going to study today is expressions of certainty. That is the topic that we are going to study today. And this is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. Me teacher? Yes, please. Expression of certainly class objective. At the end of the class, participants will be able to use expressions of cert certainly to show how sure or certain they feel about a topic, action, or event. Thank you. So the idea is to learn different expressions. Imagine when you don't feel totally sure about a topic, so what phrases you can use. Or if you feel totally certain, totally sure and confident about an action or an event, so what are the phrases that you can use? So those are the expressions that we are going to study today. Okay, so, but first, let's have a quick review about the advantages and disadvantages of the distribution channels. That was the topics that we studied yesterday. If you see, uh, when we are talking about distribution channels, what was the meaning of that? Do you remember? What was the meaning of distribution channels? Uh -huh. Yes, please. Yes, I remember that we, we saw that the distribution, the different uh, different distribution channels, uh, for example, retail, food, share, um, and online, online uh, shop and, and, and the stores is is the different channel that we you we have when you want to buy something. That's correct. So imagine when you want to buy a product, you have different options. Not only the retail stores, you can use internet, you can use direct sellings, you can use wholesale. So we have different options and those options receive the name of distribution channels. And we checked some vocabulary. What was the meaning or, or which word means this one? An intermediary and entity in the distribution channel that buys in bulk and sells to resellers. What was that? Do you remember? It's a wholesaler. It's a what? Wholesaler. Oh, wholesaler. Wh what wholesaler. do you think, guys? Do you agree? Yes. Yes. How about the number two? When we are talking about uh, agents who supplies goods to stores, what is I that? I remember because I have a mistake yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and distributor, distributor. Distributor, yeah. Distributor. So you can do you correct it. That's great. <laughs> How about the number three, guys? A person or business that sells goods to the public, but in small quantities. Retailer. Retailer? Yes. Definitely. So remember a wholesaler. A large quantity. Retailers, small quantities. Now, a uh, number four, a professional who provides advice. Consultant. Consultant. Correct. And an individual agency or company that sells manufactured product. A 
manufacturers' representatives. So keep in mind the vocabulary, please. Now, also, we studied this vocabulary after sales service, guaranteed period, retail, wholesale supplier, and competitor. Do you remember that vocabulary? Yes? Yes. Okay, let's complete this quick exercise. I have different sentences. Let's complete the sentences with the words that we have here. For example, in the number one, Lantex never delivers on time. So we have to look for another, what will be the best word there? For another after sale service, another guaranteed period, or what do you think? What could be the best word? Supplier. Ah, very good. So we can use the word supplier. Let's see. Oops. Nice. How about the number two? Volunteer for reading. Volunteer for reading, please number two. Me. Yes, please. <laughs> Our products are available in the department stores and other afters. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, in other after self service outlet. Okay. What do you think, guys? Another after sales service outlet? Oh, no, 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 no. And other wholesale. Wholesale or, yeah, wholesale. Sorry. Wholesale. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. if you say so, I'm going to write it. Remember, this is your exam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number three, volunteer for reading, please. Volunteer for reading. Only one, please. For reading, me. For reading, <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm just asking for reading. Cells are very good, but our main uh, cells are also going up very quick. Thank you. So, guys. What do you think? Competitors. Competitors. Okay. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Okay. Number four, volunteer for reading. Me. Thank you. Go ahead. 10% uh, discount in uh, two years. That's a very good. Thank you. That's a very good offer. What do you think? What are we talking about? A guaranteed period. Guaranteed period. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Then we are going to see your score. Okay. Number five. Volunteer for reading, please. Uh -huh. teacher. Yes, go ahead. We are in the trade and sell our clothes to retailers and fashion houses. Thank you. Interesting. What do you think? Retail. 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 Okay. So we are in the retail trade and sell our clothes to retailers and fashion houses. All right. And the last one, please, volunteer for reading. Can I? Yes, please. If you have a problem with the machine, just contact our department. Thank you. Uh-huh. After sales service. Well. After okay. sales service. After sales service. Okay. So, are you sure about your answers or would you like to change some change of them? It. 
<laughs> Which one? The first one, supplier to retail. And of course, the number five for supply. Okay. That's what I, that's what I find. What do you think, guys? She said that instead of supplier, we are going to say retail. Yes. And instead of retail here, we need to write supplier. Yes. Is that correct? No. In my opinion, it's correct. Supplier number one. Okay. Because you talk about the land that never delivers some time, maybe it's for your supplier. <laughs> I think, but I'm not sure. Okay. Makes sense, but what I, what else? Any other opinion, guys? Imagine that this is your exam, so. <laughs> ta -ta 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 the, the, in the first sentences, Lante is a noun? Yes, it's just, it's just a name. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's like, for example, a name of a company. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh huh. Any other correction? I believe that the first in the first sentence is supplier. Supplier. I okay. Guess. Let's keep it at supplier. Is there any other one that you would like to change? Yes. No teacher. No. No. So, okay. I will tell you the correct answer. Number one, ta 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 ta, is. It's correct, very good. Number two, number two, ah, sorry. Number three, yes, it's correct. Number four, yes, it's correct. Number five, ah, sorry. And the last one is correct, very good. Look, retail and wholesale. The main difference is the amount of product that you sell. And pay attention in the number five. We are in the -da 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 trade and sell our clothes to, look at the word here, retailers. So, can we repeat the word in this sentence? We are in the retail trade, so we sell our clothes to the retailers. Mm, no. Not really, right? So in this case, the correct answer is we are in the wholesale trade, okay? So that means that you buy in a box and then you sell your products to the different retail stores just keep in mind the picture that i show you at the beginning okay uh, let me put the picture look retail outlets what is that that is the stores okay so here look Instead of wholesales, we are going to say retail outlets. Okay? Only two mistakes. So far, so good. So far, so good. We can say that you passed the exam. No with a 10, but you did it. Excellent job. Okay. Um, we are going to continue, but before that, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, Adriana Escalante. Adriana Escalante, no? Okay. Carlos Abrego. Present teacher. Okay. Cristian Alexander. Christian Alexander. Okay. Erika Yasmin. Present. Okay. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. All right. Eh, Germán Durán. Present teacher. Cool. Héctor Francisco. Present. Okay. Isabel Hernández. Present, miss. Great. Iván Guzmán. Present. 
Ok. Jamie Escobar. Present, teacher. Ok. Holman Girón. Present. Ok. Eh, Lucy Natalie. Present, teacher. Ok. Magdaleno Escalante. Magdaleno Escalante. Ok. Um, let's see. Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Ok. Nelson Antonio. Present. Ok. Oscar Armando. Present. All right. And Rosalina Alvarado. Rosalina Alvarado. No? Ok. Now, eh, I can see most of you with the camera on. Thank you. But I can see some of you with the camera off. Don't forget, guys. I don't want you to keep the camera on just the first day. So remember, keep the camera on, please, during the whole class. Thank you. Okay. Now, we were talking about the distribution channels. Okay. And... What is a new distribution channels that is taking a lot of publicity nowadays? Do you remember what was the distribution channels that we discussed yesterday? Uh-huh. Internet. Okay, so internet is a new distribution channel. There are many stores that sell the products online. Can you give me examples of some channels on internet? For example, we have the most common one, Amazon. But what else? Can you name another company that uses like, the internet? Like Pedido Chat, teacher? Aha, uh -huh, yes, very good. eBay. eBay, very good. What else? A supermarket, for example, Pricemar or Walmart. Ah, uh, very good. They offered. Or, yes, they offered online store. Nice, very good. Yes. DHL. DHL. Yes, okay. <laughs> So, yesterday we were talking about this option. Some of you say that you prefer to buy in person. Some of you say that, nah, you like to buy it online. Each distribution channel has their own advantages and disadvantages. Can you tell me some advantages of using internet to buy the product? What do you think? The price here is, is a low price if you buy uh, online. Okay. Or maybe you, you, you will have a discount for some products online. Okay. And another advantage is you can, you, you don't need to, to go to uh, the store and to waste the waste the time or gas or gas <laughs> the gas yeah gas. that's yes. a good one so imagine you save money you can save time and what else do you have any other advantage talking about internet as a distribution channels what do you oh, think okay. okay good night good night uh -huh. Well, for good me, evening. I'm sorry. Good evening. Excuse me. <laughs> um, for me, it's a <clears throat> advantage because I need some products with my for my son, mm -hmm. swim products, and then in our country, I I didn't find that, and then in Amazon and internet and Arena swim, I I found. You found that, them. Yeah. There is advantage for me, but in another way, it's too expensive to pick up song in my country because I don't have a um, distrib distributor inside the country. We need to uh, buy the product and put in one 
how do you say um, peer box in one peer box and then for my parents and then go to my country there is a, a difficult a disadvantage but in another way yeah you understand <laughs> it, me? yeah it's a long process <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. So that's a good example. And we are going to see it in this class, but in some minutes. Imagine how many channels <laughs> that she needs to use in order to get the product. Yep. Mm -hmm. Imagine first you have to go online. You have to send in a specific address. The other person has to send it to you. You have to take the packages. So it's a little complicated, right? Yeah, because in that way, it's um, less, uh, the cost less than if I um, use the Amazon per se, because the, the price is so high for the, how do they say? The delivery? For the river, yes. Yeah, I but, imagine but that. But we need this this suit because it's for competition. Then yeah, and, and it's, it's hard, not but... it's not any any stores here in El Salvador anywhere. In Central America, in Central America, don't have it. No way. Yeah, because <laughs> the the suit and the trusas uh -huh. is uh, is for number. Unbelievable! And wow. And then don't have it. Mm -hmm imagine that's a little disappointing yeah but the cost is about six hundred dollars for each yeah my goodness yeah <laughs> all right but anyway, yeah okay nice for example, example miss mm -hmm. yeah okay yeah nice thank you for sharing it now Imagine we already see that buying online or use internet as a distribution channel has its own advantages. But how about the disadvantages? What could be some disadvantages of using internet? What do you think? You can uh -huh. lose your shop. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it takes that's a little a time one. to get home. <laughs> Well, mm, but talking in internet, what else? I mean, those when, are for when, the retailers. When you run in the product or maybe the size, for example, you have to return and some company is complicated to return the products or or maybe you have to, to sell another person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's... it's is in the police that the that the store you have to see that it can accept the return or not the, the products yeah the they have their own policies if you don't yes. read them i mean you are in trouble exactly yeah very good now internet as a distribution channels is a little complicated we are going to continue talking about it. Now, I have here a survey. We are going to talk about e-commerce industry. Have you ever heard this concept, e-commerce industry? Yes, it's online commerce of industry. <laughs> That's correct, exactly. So, Check it out these questions and try to guess what's the correct one. Volunteer for reading the number one, please. Me? Yes, please. What percentage of retail trans transaction in, in China take a place online? Thank you. So guys, here you have to try to guess. Okay, so almost 30%, 40% or 50%. We are talking about China, okay? What do you think? 50%. 50%. Yeah. <laughs> so let us see. Okay. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, later we are going to find out if your answers are correct or not. Number two, I need a volunteer for reading. Number two. 
Me, teacher? Yes, please. <laughs> How many visitors does Amazon website have each month? Interesting. What do you think? A Billions. <laughs> yeah. A, B, or C. So B? she said A. Some of you say B. Okay. Million, maybe million. Yes, maybe B. So B. million. Are you sure? No. <laughs> <laughs> we are not sure, but maybe. Billion. <laughs> or billion, yeah, but billions. <laughs> I don't much. know, you tell me. <laughs> okay, so letter B. Later we are going to discover, no worries. Okay, number three, volunteer for reading. Me, teacher. Yes, and Oscar, the number oh. four, no worries. Okay, okay. What percentage of department store in the UK have gone bankrupt in the last five years thank you what is the meaning of bankrupt bancarrota <laughs> don't translate don't translate <laughs> but yeah exactly like that the stores or the companies don't have more capital more they name. cannot continue paying so they close their business okay so mm -hmm. a b or c what do you think c Maybe B. C in UK. C or B? C. B. C. <laughs> okay, some of you say B. B because some of they, you say they, C. because he, uh, UK is in a Brexit. <laughs> Maybe B. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Final answer? Yes, B. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Well, later we will see. Okay, uh, Oscar, number four, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, what read the number four. Okay. What do you think the M in M commerce is standard for? Thank you. So, we are talking about e-commerce. Oh, nice. We know that E is for it. What do you think? Market electronic, commerce. maybe, right? Like electronic commerce, everything is related to the net. But now we have the new term, M commerce. What do you think? What does this letter M stand for? Mobile. Market. Mobile. Market. Mobile. Mobile. It's mobile. <laughs> mobile. Mobile, yes. Money. Money. It's mobile, market. the apps. Money, money. Because the apps are... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Some of you say money. Some of you say mobile. Some of you say market. Final answer. It's mobile. Money. The money you, yeah. you can use the, the, the phone. You can use the phone and for e-commerce. Okay. Makes sense. Okay, pay attention in the way that you answer. Just say C, B, B, B. Okay. Now, <laughs> we are going to read a short article. And in this article, we are going to find the answers. Okay? Uh, I don't want to erase <laughs> the answers. So later, <laughs> we are going to see if you were right or not. Okay. I have this article. This article is about the e-commerce. So read carefully and let's try to find out the information. I need a volunteer for reading the first paragraph, please. Volunteers? Oh my goodness. Okay, thank me. you. Okay, I heard Fatima <laughs> first. Okay, thank okay, you. Okay, no, no problem, no problem. <laughs> thank you. Go ahead. In many countries, online shopping has become just as popular as regular in person, everyday shopping. Take China, for instance, at present nearly uh, five, five, fifty, fifty, fifty percent of retail transactions 
in the world second biggest economy take place online. Thank you. So imagine the article is saying that shopping online basically is as popular as buying in person. So they are like almost the same. So in China, uh -huh, what is the percentage? 50%. 50%. Okay, let's go back to the survey. Did you have the correct answer? Yes. Yes, yes. look, almost a 50%. Nice job. Okay, let's go back. Now, uh, Rosalina, uh, continue reading, please. Okay, over the last decade, e-commerce giants like Amazon, eBay, Asos, and Alibaba have become both widely known and widely used by consumers around the world. The size and wealth of Amazon is simply unbelievable. Each month, their website has roughly roughly, three, roughly three uh, point seven billion visitor and to cope with this how the Monday employee excuse me huge huge demand they employ over one point point six million employees globally oh my god thank you okay pronunciation giant Giants. 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 Do you know what Giants. the meaning is? Giant? Gigant. A big, a big yes. <laughs> like, like a Some big people. person. <laughs> yeah. <Some people. laughs> Don't translate. Okay, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. What happens tonight? A lot of Spanish. Okay, so <laughs> let's talk about Amazon. Uh huh. How many visitors do they have? Billion t shirt, just, say just the question. Million. Sorry, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it says Alibaba has become both widely. What does it mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, widely. Remember that widely. wide is like the opposite of narrow. Narrow is a stretch, wide, it's huge. Like, for example, the Amazon River is narrow or wide oh yeah got it Thanks. it's wide so widely yeah, yeah. it's basically like the adverb wide is the adjective that's the only difference okay so 3.7 billion t-shirt t-shirt what is it unbelievable unbelievable what is it, the pronunciation that's unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, Unbelievable. unbelievable, yes. Okay, thank you. Unbelievable. Unbelie unbelievable that 3.7 billion. Yeah. <laughs> so imagine, did you have the correct answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, right? So unbelievable. So that's why it's considered a giant. Definitely. Okay, volunteer for mm -hmm. continue reading, please. Mm -hmm. And Jamie, yes. Uh, I have to advise. Uh, I don't know what is the meaning of crawly and push. Push. Okay, huge. This one. Huge. Okay, let me. This one, huge. Yes. yes. Okay, huge. There is a topic, guys, that the name of that topic is extreme adjectives. The extreme adjectives is basically when we have adjectives in order to make emphasis. So, for example, I have big. We know what big means, yes? So, imagine if I say, well, my house is big, but if I have a mentioned, imagine like a very famous person, the house is big, 
No, the house is huge. That means more than big. That is the meaning of huge. Okay? For example, Titanic. Titanic was a big ship or a huge ship. What do you think? A huge? Huge. huge. Exactly. China, for example, China is a big country or a huge country? Huge. Exactly. That is the meaning of huge. Okay. Got it? Very Thank good. Uh, what was the other word? Uh, roughly. Roughly. Where is that? Oh, roughly. That one? Yes. Okay, roughly, in this case, this one is an adjective. Well, this one with the L-Y is basically the adverb, okay? So, roughly is like when we say uh, approximately, if you want to say that. Like, for example, this website has around... 3.7 billions, all right? So what happens is if we want to translate it, so uh, the translation will be like aproximadamente, but también podemos darle el sentido like un poquito exagerado como a la, um, a la sorpresa, right? Es como decir, wow, ellos están approximately 3.7 billion so it's huge now si utilizan esta palabra only as an adjective si le quitamos el li okay y dejamos solo la palabra rough eso significa como rudo tosco una persona like kind of rude okay Understood the difference between rough and the adverb roughly? Yes. Yes? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Now, something that can help you guys if you want to check by your own new vocabulary, I highly recommend this topic. Extreme adjectives. Believe me, that is going to help you. Okay, so get, you can uh, search for it on internet and try to practice by yourself. Okay, let's continue then. I need another volunteer, please, for continue reading. Okay, can I? Yes, please. Okay, the main victim to the growing dominance on online retailers like Amazon have been the bridge and mortar stores. In the UK, department stores used to be central to a week weekend's shopping trip. However, over the last five years, 83% of the parts department stores have gone box. Thank you. Okay, so we are talking about bankruptcy. What is the meaning of gone bust? What do you think? Have you ever heard that phrase? Boss. No idea. No teacher. Sure. Boss man. What happens when Titanic uh, crashed against the iceberg? What gone happened? Bust. Gone bust. <laughs> the ship <laughs> gone bust. What does it mean? Go down. Okay. Exactly. Point that you is... cannot swim. <laughs> That's another example. Yes. What happens when you cannot swim and you jump into the water, deep waters? <laughs> you go bust. Okay. Very good. So, what is the percentage of the stores that you know has or have gone bust in the UK? 83%. 83%. A lot, definitely. A lot, so, yeah. did you have the correct answer? 
No. 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 We can't really. imagine. <laughs> I know. So imagine, guys, the power that e-commerce is taking. So the stores, the physical stores, they are closing because most of the people prefer to buy online. Can you believe that? Do you think that something like that can happen here in El Salvador? What do you think? Yeah, it could be. And do yeah. you think that is happening right now? No. 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 Are you sure? Just imagine after the quarantine, what happens with some business? They just closed. And what happens with others? They take advantage and they started to open online. So right now we don't have some businesses like to go in person. Most of them are taking places online. So it is happening, not in a huge scale as UK, but it's happening. Now let's continue reading. Volunteer, please. Yes, please. Uh, okay. So where do we go from here? The next stage of the e-commerce evolution sim to be in commerce we select to mobile shopping and the fact that people are now more like likely to use their mobile phones or table for to hook few day to day music. Thank you. So what does the letter M of M commerce stand for? Uh-huh, what do you think? Mobile. Ah. Mobile. Yeah. Mobile. Do we have the correct answer? Yes. Ah. <laughs> so how many correct answers did you have? Yes, two. <laughs> Just two. Nice job. So e-commerce. Now let me ask you, e-commerce is something positive or negative for you? What do you think? Positive. <laughs> positive, okay. For me, it's positive. Positive too? Uh-huh. Who else? Uh-huh, and the rest of you? No comments? Okay, we are going to have a little debate and we are going to talk about the pros and cons of e-commerce. We are going to be in teams. Team A, you have to say that e-commerce has positive effect, but listen, we are not going to think about your personal life. Like, yeah, e-commerce is positive for me. No, we are going to see since the local economies. So consider what happens in the UK, all right? Take that example. So you have to think that e-commerce is positive and you have to tell me all the pros. Team B, on the other hand, you had to think that the e-commerce is negative for the local economies. So explain me why you think that, and you had to tell me all the cons. Is it clear? Yes? Yes. It depends on the position. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it depends yeah. on the point of view. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> so remember, the idea of a debate is that one team has to be the winner, okay? So let's find out which one will win remember the rules for the debate we need to be respectful 
Okay, try to use the courtesy phrases that we studied in the, the previous course. I hope you remember, all right? So I'm sending the instructions for the debate on WhatsApp's group. And we are going to go to the breaking rooms. I need to everybody participate. So everybody, please enter to the breaking rooms. We are going to be in teams of four. So we will have two and two. Two in team A, two people in team B, okay? Remember, no Spanish, be polite, okay? Let's go to work. Herman, Herman and Nelson. Uh, we have we are uh four for participate. I think maybe uh, team A and team B, two for team A, two for team B. Yes. Uh, I don't know how we are going to distribute the. Let me see. We 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 we. I think the the teacher chair the. Oh my goodness, me urgent. Can you? Shit. I, I I can share. Please, because my internet, ah. Yeah. Okay, guys, hurry up. Who is going to be in team A? Uh-huh. Team A, you think that the e-commerce is positive. Mm -hmm. So who? I'm team B. Okay, Hector, team B. Who else? Team B. I'm team B. Team okay. Team B. Excellent. Okay, Hector and Herman, you will be in team B. Think about the negative effect. Jamie and Nelson, you will be team A. Think about that commerce is positive. Team A, you start. Go ahead. Team B or team E, <laughs> sorry. A, the positive ah. starts. Okay. The thing A, we are going to start. Uh, I believe that the e-commerce has advantage. Uh, for example, uh, is is the in another countries the 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 people. Uh, the people are are buying or, or pushing in online retail. I believe that uh, in a few years in the future, uh, this practice will be more common in in, in this country. Um, for this reason, uh, we need to prepare, 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 uh, prepare, uh, in, in how we can use the, these new technologies for, for, for the, for the commerce. Um, 
A positive could be um, a positive effect on local economies that could be um, that uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know in, if Nelson have a idea. Okay, help maybe, her. We can, we can, maybe we have the, this uh, technology here. We can have more advantage in, around, around here about economic. I don't know. Okay, our turn, German. Okay. Let's get it out. <laughs> yeah, I, I think close to the 50% uh, of people, population, I, I don't know who say, don't have a formal job, don't have a, a, a formal adverse. Adversing, adversing. Uh, uh, a lot of people can can uh, uh, watch the different products in your cell phone. It's okay because the the the, con the economy up with the with the e commercial because uh, always are people in watching his cell phone. Well, okay, my opinion, uh, negative, uh, local economics. I think uh, there is no, no sources of employment. It's uh, effects in the economy. Okay. Uh, oh, there are good point. I think. Mm. Commercial. Uh, a good what well, a good point if when you when you don't don't have a a place or local to 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 sell your products you can you can the people the, the people uh, can create a, a page of facebook instagram and sell uh her products in in here page if 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 the if you if you don't 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 have the money for Pay a, a local a, a place. You can you can you can sell in in, in a page of and social media. It, it, it's okay because you don't have you you don't need a a, a place or local. You don't know. No, <laughs> it's an online store. Shane is an online store. They buy uh, uh, everything there, and they sell it here. So for me, it's better because more employee. Imagine at the beginning they had they just have two, and now in Metro Centro they have like ten or eleven employees. So there are more. There are yeah, more. but if you buy online. You don't need many employees, just one, because you have to deliver it. Just for delivery, you need employees, but just one person, I think. But have yeah. the read about oh. service, because <laughs> I I have a bad experience with online shop. Why? <laughs> because Why? don't... Um, My shoe, the shoes, 
is yeah. very expensive for me for <laughs> at first okay. the, sh the shoes but yeah, yeah. don't um how do you say it? Uh, no me quedaron doesn't fit doesn't fit, doesn't fit. Uh -huh. and doesn't um take you me can, a, you... a, a return for the effect Oh, you can't return I, the, the product. You can't. I can't. You cannot. Okay. No. But you, you, you just, okay. In my case, actually, I'm, I'm shopping on my financial. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a negative, but, but I think that the, the effect on, um, the economy and the economy is the, the negative thing is that the, the, they affect a, a, another person or they affect the economy the other person because yes really, because a bus to... service is a, a decrease to for the people use that way in e-commerce you know of course of course that is that is a example for the negative effects of e-commerce <laughs> <laughs> They yeah, are yeah. they yeah. are reinforcing or um the people have a very sedentary life or in in other in other words they mm -hmm. don't move of of their homes and if oh, another example Rosalina for me yeah. and the customers don't have um about I think privacy or or something like that and security that is because. For me, uh, another another social network, they are uh -huh. selling or or data or personal data for for others companies. I I mean, and they are selling, for example, Facebook. They are selling or personal information, mm -hmm. and only for business. And mm -hmm. if we if we have all of our lives there. For example, the the e-commerce that what are our preference about buying food or or buying something uh, uh, like a shoe. I, I agree in some in some yeah. ideas with you, but in another way, you know, <laughs> your yeah. all of your information inside okay. the Google. You put your name in Google. Google knows the address. What do you study in your life? How many right. members does your family say? Notice for the if you buy some, but no. but um, it, for me in the local economy, repeat again, it's nice when you use improve the market. You say the people uh, right now is very lazy, no? And then e-commerce, um, they use that. For improve the business, mm -hmm. yeah. And the in in another way, delivery is very cheap because a lot of uh, companies use the motorcycles. And then when you buy something uh, for mm -hmm. e-commerce, you pay the few money, maybe one dollar or or. Um, the is difficult, but the technology is is go on every every day the, the technologies are grind grinding but in, in in one in one in one moment these local economies that that should should that, yeah. should, be, that should be or ad hoc Adopt this e-commerce because the 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 age are are changing. Okay, time's up. Time's up. Let's go back to the main room. Let's go back, everyone. All right, the debate ends. So 
Let's see. Well, let's wait for everyone. Okay, okay, let's go back. Interesting debate. Probably I can very interesting topic. <laughs> yeah, I can see. Guys, something that I love is the way that you defend your position. <laughs> if you are in the team A, you will fight for the team A. If you are in team B, you will fight for it. I like the enthusiasm. Very good job. So, who were the winners? Positive or negative e-commerce? What do you think? We have a problem, teacher. <laughs> oh, my God. We have 50-50. <laughs> <50 50. laughs> Was it a tie? <laughs> yes. We were in, the, in the different um, point of view. They okay. were like uh, in the negative way, but like employed. And in my case, I was thinking about, about entrepreneur. <laughs> Ah, the owner. yes. Okay. Yeah. Depending on the point of view, that can be different. Okay. How about in the other teams? For example, in Jamie's team. Jamie, what happens in your team? Who were the winners? Uh, microphone. I believe that it was 50-50. <laughs> a tie? <laughs> yes, because the two things have, have a different opinions, but are, are, are good. <laughs> so both team had different arguments, but all the arguments were like acceptable. I believe. <laughs> okay, interesting. What happens in the other team? I can see the team of, let's see, let's see, Ivan. So Ivan, what happens in your team with Holman and Oscar? Who were the winners? Uh, no winner. <laughs> <laughs> also a tie? A yeah, tie, uh, uh, basically. Uh... Uh, the partners uh, expose different opinions in the in the in this the uh, steps uh, positive during, and during negative the debate okay the train the debate thank you uh -huh. yeah. so no winner was a tie tie a tie okay <laughs> interesting rosalina and lucy what happens with you girls Uh-huh. Rosalina, Lucy? We have 50-50, teacher. A tie, yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So that's what I was saying, guys. When you are in a team, you defend that team as much as possible. I like that. So <laughs> exactly. If you see, depending on the point of view, e-commerce has positive and negative aspects. If you see it from the point of view of customer or the owners, of course, you will see some positive aspects. But if you see it as an owner of a retailer store, if you see it as the competitors or people who has small businesses, obviously it will have very negative consequences, right? So depending on the point of view. But great job. Did your classmates use polite expressions during the debate? <laughs> All right. I was listening to you guys. I was listening to you a little bit <laughs> aggressive. My goodness. So be careful. Every time that we are discussing a topic, and this is not just for here in the class, but imagine that you are discussing to a customer or with your boss, with your supervisor, or with your coworkers. Remember, we need to be polite all the time. Even if they are not, you have to be. 
Okay, so always let's try to use polite expressions. Now, we are going to see some other expressions, not talking about polite expressions, but about certainty expressions. That is what we are going to check right now. Expressions of certainty. This is just in order to identify how confident or how sure you feel about a topic. Okay, can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yes, yes? excellent. Okay, let's start. First of all, if you have your manual, this information is in the page 10. So always talking about the distribution channels, we have different types of channels. Okay, what is the first type? We have the direct channels. So what do you think? According to the picture, we have producer and consumer. So hmm, I'm going to show you a picture. This is direct channels. So what do you think? What do you understand about it? Uh-huh. The self pro the self processing uh, is a uh, is direct uh, manufacturing sales and customer. That's correct. Thank you, Ivan. So exactly, direct channel means direct service. So imagine that I sell pupusas. I make the pupusas. And I sell the pupusas directly to my customers. Is that a direct channel? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Definitely. Yes. Can you give me another example of direct channel? What do you think? Fast food. Which one? Fast food. Fast food. Is that a direct channel? What do you think? Uh, I think maybe uh, sometimes. That's a good it, point. Yes, because if you, if you buy a uh, delivery. Uh -huh, very good point. So exactly. If you, for example, imagine if you go to the restaurant, they prepare the food at the restaurant and you go and there you buy it and you eat it. Yes. But if you ask for delivery, that is no direct channel anymore. Nice job. Okay. Is it clear? The first type direct channel? Yes. Clear? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, what is the second type of channels that we have? We have the retail channel. So what do we have in the retail channel? Look, I have the producer, retailer, and consumer. So what happens here in the retail channels? What do you think? For example, in my uh, my company, uh -huh. retail channel. All right. So you are the manufacturer. Yeah, yeah, I'm a killer. Uh huh. That's a good example. You don't sell the product directly to the customers, right? right. You sell the product to the store, and the store sells the product to the customer. Can you think of another example of retail channels? What do you think? For example, Semantic or Seman is a retail, but they have a lot of product that they own. They are a lot of manufacturing. Very good example. Exactly. Imagine there are manufacturers, they sell the products to, to Siman and Siman sells the product to the customers. 
Very good. So is it clear the difference between the direct channels and the retail channels? Yes, I clear. Yes? Great. Okay, now we have the last one is wholesale channels. So pay attention here. In the wholesale, we have a lot of steps. We have the producer, the wholesale or the distributor. Then we have a retailer and then we have a consumer. So what happens in the wholesale? What do you think? Think about some examples. Price mark is wholesale because some people buy it in a big uh, presentation and they can go to the store or mini store and they they reseller the product that you can buy in price mark. Or... Yes, perfect. Exactly. That's a very good example. So imagine in our country is very common to see some stores at home right people has their own stores in their houses so what happens here we got the manufacturer that in this case we can say price mart for example then you go to price mart and you buy in a large quantity then you go to your own store and you sell it to your customers, okay? That could be an example of wholesale channel. Is it clear the difference, everyone, between direct, retail, and wholesale channels? Yes, is it clear? Like a chat. <laughs> <laughs> like tamarindo juice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. All sage channel. <laughs> <laughs> According to this information, let's categorize these examples according to the channels that we already saw. Imagine the first one. You have to tell me what type of channels they are. Look at the number one. Amazon sells Kindles to its customers through its own platform. What type of channels is this? Is direct, retail, or wholesale? What do you think? Direct channel. Direct, okay, direct. and you guys? Could be wholesale wholesale or retail, oh, wow. or retail I think it depends if you buy it for you mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a retail but if okay. you buy for your business entrepreneur is a wholesale okay that's a good point so let's analyze the sentence because it says look Amazon sells the, 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 the Kindle oh, yes. is like the products right it is. Um, Direct sales. So Direct. they they send it, listen, they send it to their customers. So remember that what is the last step in the distribution channel? The last step is get to the customer. So look, which is the correct channel? I have the store, the product, and customer. Retail channels. Are you sure? No, I didn't. Direct is, channel. Direct actually, channel. Direct direct. channel. Actually, is direct. Direct. In, direct in this channel. case, imagine. Do I have another retail stores? Not really. I am saying that Amazon sells the product directly to their customers. And remember, it says that they are doing it through its own platform. Amazon doesn't need another platform like, uh, I don't know, imagine for example, some uh, businesses use like uh, Ugo delivery. Uh -huh. T-shirt, but Amazon no manufacturing or 
the product that Amazon sells in the in the platform. Excuse me, Miss. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, in that case, I think it direct channel because the Kindles is made for Amazon. Is for you buy the books. Uh -huh. For me, the books. The, that's they, right. The, way, the Kindle is way, the Amazon. They are the uh, owners. They produce on them. Yeah, for this, but in another way, like I say, my my classmate uh -huh. is for who seller because buy some people buy some products and sell in that channel. Exactly. It's my opinion. I don't know. And actually, you are right. Look, I know that Amazon they don't produce their own products right they are like buying from other another manufacturers but we are talking about a specific product and this is the product that belongs to them i mean we cannot find them like in another website or from another store so that's why it's considered direct okay, mm -hmm. okay. okay. now let's continue i need a volunteer please for reading the number two oops uh huh. Good night, teacher. Yes, please. IKEA buys products from different manufacturers and sells them in their stores. Ah, so what about here, guys? What type of channel is this? It's wholesale. Why? Mm -hmm. Why do you think that is wholesale? Retail. <laughs> <laughs> A retail? <laughs> mm -hmm. For me, retail. Retail? Oh, retail. Yeah, retail. retail. Because Why? one product for each, each uh, customer. And uh -huh. no, no, for each, it's direct the the transaction transaction transaction, transaction? okay transaction. Mm -hmm. and and sell one one by one product i maybe a uh, one chair one desk one uh, furniture i don't know this for me is retail channel okay so let's change it some people say retail do you agree everybody no, teacher. No, it's wholesale, <laughs> teacher. Okay. I don't know, in my opinion. Okay, let's That's go back. Uh huh. Why do I you think, think that is wholesale? I think it's because they are buying products from manufacturers. Mm -hmm. They okay. are buying in maybe in I don't know how do you say in magnitude. Whole sales or in a buck. Buck okay. is like large amount. Yes, this is the the reason for me. Pay attention. But That's a good reason. Sell. Uh huh. But they say say that the manufacturer and sell them in their store, and they have a lot of mini store, and but they distribution at the. At the other store, I think that is wholesale. <laughs> ah, okay. Pay attention yes. here. In this case, what do we have? We have manufacturers' mm -hmm. stores. Okay. What happens here? I have the manufacturer. Imagine that IKEA is the wholesaler. Okay. Yes. And what happens here? Look. What does the article, well, in this case, the sentence says, they buy the product to the manufacturers. And what do they do with their products? They send them to their stores. So these ones are their stores. But they are stores. And then the customers go and buy them. So in this scenario, guys, the correct one is, Wholesale, yes. Don't forget uh, the process, guys. We need to memorize that. In the retail is, you are the owner of the store and just go and 
by to the manufacturer. How about the number three, volunteer for reading? Yes, yes go ahead. Okay. Awesome, of, uh, awesome grace to play a light. Grocer, to play a light on independent. Cross a store with portals in bulk. Thank you. Aha, uh -huh. what happens here? What's meaning grocers? Oh, that's the name. Awesome grocers. Like the name of a company. Ah, okay. Grocer supplies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So imagine that this is a company, okay? And it says that this company gives a lot of products to who? To the grocery stores. And these grocery stores sells the product to their customers. So what type of channels is this one? Sale channel. Which one? Retail. Retail, okay, everybody, do you agree? Mm, yeah, retail, retail channel. Retail channel? I think it's manufacturer. Okay, but, but remember, we only have three type of channels, direct, retail, or wholesales. So, what do you think? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Again, I have this company in this company. Just imagine that this is you. You have a product, okay? You create the product and you sell the products to some grocery stores. And the grocery stores sell it to their customers. So, Awesome grocers, they are the manufacturer, basically. They create the product and they just send them, sell the product to the grocery stores. So what do you think? What type of channel is that? Look at the picture. Retail channel? Retail. Yes, retail. that is the one. Retail channel. Okay, number four, volunteer for reading. Okay. Dell computers sell through its own online platform or call center. Thank you. Aha, uh -huh. what do you think? What will be the channel here? Direct channel. Direct channel. Direct. Direct, direct channel. Are you direct sure? Channel. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh <-huh. laughs> At the beginning, it was like, I don't know, DJ. But now it's like, yes, I like that. Very good. And yes, it's direct. If you see Dell's computers, that company, they are their own manufacturers. They produce the products and immediately they sell the product directly to their customers. Great job. Number five, volunteer for reading. Me teacher. Yes, Nelson, go ahead. The cap buys clothes from other manufacturers to sell in their stores. Okay, so what do you think? Wholesale. Wholesale channel. Wholesale channels. Guys, do you agree? Maybe a retail, I think. Okay. No, wholesale. Okay, yeah. if you see the number five, it's very similar to the number two. Look, I have the guy buys clothes from other manufacturers. IKEA buy products from different manufacturers. And what do they do later? They sell in their stores. They sell them in their stores. So this is the same example, guys. Okay, we have the gap. They buys, 
Okay, they are their wholesaler. They go to the manufacturer, they buy a lot of products, and then they sell the products in different stores. And the customer buys the product there. So in this case, what type of channel is this? Wholesale. Definitely, uh, yes. Okay, can, I, can I say something, teacher? I'm sorry. <laughs> sure, go ahead. For me, I don't know if it's going to be a tip for you guys, but for me, the direct is immediately to the client mm -hmm. or the customer. And retail, you have just one intermediate. And for wholesale, you have you has two, you have two intermediate, the wholesale, the retailer, and then the consumer. That's, that's for me, yeah. that's what I have the idea. And actually that's the one. That's why I decided to put these pictures, guys. Okay. If you see in the direct, we don't have anything in the middle. It's just the manufacturer and the customers. Okay nothing in between in the retail as your classmate said there is only one in the middle that is the retailer but in the wholesales we have two we have the wholesales and the retailer so that is the difference keep in mind these pictures that is going to help you a lot excuse me miss yes i have a um a problem because i don't understand why the second is uh, <clears throat> who seller mm -hmm. and not retailer because i understand ikea buy the products for manufacturer mm -hmm. and then sell in in their store i i i see in this the a little bit confusing in the stores don't mm -hmm. don't say more another one and then i i'm lost right now okay Excuse me, but i understand yeah, no worries, no worries. Okay, what happens here, guys? Imagine in this way. Uh, I'm going to try to draw. <laughs> I'm not good at it, but... Okay, this is the manufacturer, okay? Here we got the manufacturer. IKEA is this one. They go to the manufacturer. Do you think that they will buy little amount of product or a huge amount of product huge huge huge, huge amount. right and that's the key because if you have for example a retail store they don't buy a huge amount okay they just buy a little product that is the difference between retail and wholesale now, let's continue with the example of IKEA. So they go and buy a large quantity of products. And what happens then? Do they sell to the customers? No, what happens here? Look, they have different retail stores. So they send the product to their different retail stores and then the customer can go to the retail stores and buy them how many steps do we need in order that the product get to the customers how many steps i got the manufacturer i have the ikea going to the manufacturer and then look i have this one the retail stores. So how many steps do we have until <clears throat> the product get to the customers? Which Four picture steps. looks Four. more <clears throat> familiar? Yeah, and then Ikea is who seller and retailer at the same time. That is my question because <laughs> they, they store and then <clears throat> on, on store, I understand. Basically, Teacher, we can say, uh huh. I think Rosalina is a little confusing when say their store. Mm -hmm. I think she she, she are that is my point. That the store, yeah, that, that the store. Uh, I don't know how do you say pertenecen. Belong. 
at belongs, belongs I, IKEA. But yeah, they yeah. have, that but is my they, question. Uh -huh, and that's yeah. what I want to say. The stores, they can belong to IKEA, but they can have different names. Okay. This is, for example, mm -hmm. um, how can I say this? Mm -hmm. Like a Simon with Prisma Moda. Yeah, for, for so like the they belong together, but yeah. the different names. Because the different market. Exactly. Target, target. target customers, yes. Okay, so maybe, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm a little understand, but. <laughs> yeah, I know <laughs> that it, but I'm, my no point worries. Is, my point is, I understand what the, the meaning, the definition. Excellent. Yeah? So yeah, I know that that may be a little bit confusing, I totally understand. But yeah, what you have to think is that how many steps do we need to yeah. pass through in order that the product arrive to the customers? Yeah, in that way, yes, it's, it's who seller. Yeah. Excuse me, teacher. But... I don't excuse me, teacher. I don't know if I help uh, 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 Rosalina. Rosalina, IKEA, IKEA in that case is a water house. Maybe it's a water house, a big water house, and they need to go to the, the the store but the same name ikea mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but the ikea have a water house and the water house they man they can uh, they distribution in the and the and in their store that the same name yeah the ikea stores mm -hmm. and, okay. okay thank you in that way ikea have two two different position in the channel no yes Definitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Now, the last one, guys. I got better grocers. Remember, those are proper names. So, better grocers supplies a line of independent grocery stores. So, if you see, number six is very similar to the number three, just with different words. So, what type of a channel is this retail the same wholesale wholesale or retail retail like is wholesale. the same like like retail. if you see <laughs> retail is similar just with different words basically mm -hmm. look supplies to an independent grocery store okay so here how many steps do we have Three. Look, this one sells the products to this one, and then we arrive to the customers. We don't have so many steps. So manufacturer, retailer, and then the customers, okay? So I know that might be a little bit confusing. Maybe the way that the examples are redacted, right? That could be a little bit confusing. So yeah. next time I will try to redact myself <laughs> the exercises. Remember that this is the book that appears on Insafor. So I have to present it with the books. So, but next time I will try to redact my own examples instead of using the ones that appears in the books because those ones might be a little bit confusing. Okay, but is it clear the difference between these type of channels? Yes, a little bit. A little bit. More or less. More or less. So just remember, I'm going to give you another example. The first that I give you at the beginning. Imagine that I sell pupusas, <laughs> okay? So I have the pupusas right here. I make the pupusas and I have my own pupuseria. The customer comes to my pupuseria and they eat the pupusas. What type of channel is that? Direct. That's direct, direct. okay? I make the pupusas, I sell the pupusa, that's it. I don't need a, a retailer. I don't need a wholesale. This is direct. Now, but what happens if I make the pupusas 
okay? But I don't have pupuseria. So I gave the pupusas to my best friend's pupuseria and she sells the pupusas. Can you see the difference in this scenario? Yes. Yes? Yes. So that is retail channels. Now, imagine that I have a company that makes a lot of pupusas, <laughs> okay? <laughs> we have a big company and we make a lot of pupusas. So different people, okay, from different part of the country, they are wholesaler. That means people that buy in large quantities. They come to my, uh, to my company to buy my pupusas. Okay? These people, they have their own stores. For example, some people have their stores in San Salvador. They have a, another person has their a retail or their pupuseria in Zacatecoluca. The other person has their pupuseria in Los Planes de Rendero. Okay? So yeah. they sell the pupusas to the customers. Can you see mm -hmm. the difference between the wholesales and the retail channel? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Right. So the key word here is wholesale. Remember, we buy in a huge amount. But when we have the huge amount of product, we don't sell the product to the customers. No, we sell the product to the stores, mm -hmm. to the different retail stores. Yes, clear as horchata <laughs> or as tamarindo juice. Carao. <laughs> Carajo, that's even worse. No. <laughs> okay, no worries. We're going to continue discussing this topic. No worries. Uh, now, which one do you think is more um, effective channel? Which one do you think is like better or more effective? What do you think? Imagine that you are the manufacturer. Direct. So, <laughs> why? If you are manufacturing, it's better direct. Why? Because the product is more cheap, it's direct. Because if you mm -hmm. if you have more process and your and your product, you increase the, the cost the product. Ah, very good point. How about if you are the customer? Which channel is best for you direct channel is better okay. wait direct channel is better too yeah the consumer uh, um, buy buy products uh the uh, shippers okay could be hector what do you think it's the similar the similar case the my partner smirna um you know, the prices is, is long if the, if the cost the cost is product long okay all right and the and the other channel uh, in, in the different steps for example retail channel manufacturing one step retailer two step uh, the cost is, is more that's true the price uh, for, can increase a little bit increase increase for logistic um uh, um employees Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Hector, you were about to say something. Teacher, I don't know if it's a good way, my, my point, mm -hmm. but I worked with a farmer in, in the uh, farmer okay. and, and uh, they sell the product user the long way, user will say channel. And the the price for the customer is high, and the win, ganancias, uh, profits, 
Sorry? Profit. Profit, uh-huh. The profit for, my, for farmer is, is low. And mm -hmm. my work in a, in a, in a, in a project a lot years ago <laughs> is reduce the channel. And it's possible use a direct channel from farmer and direct the customer. Very you know, the, the, in, in Santa Tecla, in Mag, use a, a ¿cómo sería? Una mercado rural, farm, a rural, ¿cómo se Como mercado rural. A market, a rural market. Rural market. In, 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 in this place, the farmer sell direct the product and the customer. When the customer, because the product is is a uh, fresh, good price, and a lot uh, a lot uh, different product, and when the the the, the uh, farmer because they uh, have the a lot, um, not a lot, um, the price is, is good for for two for for two person, farmer and customer. That's true. That's so. Pointy. And actually, it's correct. Most of the time, direct channel is better. But just keep in mind that not all the products, we can access to them directly. Okay? Just imagine uh, if you live in San Salvador and you want a fresh fish. <laughs> And you want to go to the beach. So imagine if you want fresh fish from the beach, it's not so near to you. So if you want to use direct channel, that means that you have to travel to the beach and buy them directly. That can affect a little bit your economy because you will need gas. You will spend time because you have to travel until La Costa del Sol, right? So it's not that easy. So not all the products can be like directly. As Rosalina says, imagine she doesn't found the product here in, in our country. So direct channel is not possible in certain products. So direct channel is good? Yes. Unfortunately, not all the products or services can be that in that channel, okay? But we can look at the bright side in all of them. Now, before continuing, I'm going to check attendance. Everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Um, let's start with Adriana. Is Adriana here? Nope. Okay. Um, Carlos Abrego. Carlos Abrego. If you don't say present, guys, I'm not going to give you the attendance mark. Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Erika Yasmin. Present. Okay. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Okay. Germán Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Hector Francisco. Present. Okay. Isabel Hernández. Isabel Hernández. Okay. Present. Okay. Thank you. Iván Guzmán. Presence. Okay. Jamie Escobar. Jamie, no? Okay. Eh, Lucy Natalie. Present. Okay. Magdaleno Escalante. Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Nelson Antonio. Present. Okay. Oscar Armando. Present, teacher. Okay, and Rosalina Alvarado. Present. Okay, very good. Okay, guys. Now, um, wow, it's very late. So, talking about, yes? Did you say my, my name? Uh, let's see. Oh, no, sorry. Holman Hiron? Present. There you are. Thank you. Okay, now we were discussing these certain expressions. 
There are different types of expressions of certainty that we can use. Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes? Yes. 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 Excellent. Okay. Imagine if I ask you the question, and this is a, a question that I ask you most of the time when we do exercise. Are you sure? <laughs> so what can we answer? Imagine if I say, are you sure? And you are exactly pretty sure that your answer is correct. So how can we answer? Instead of saying just, Yes. What else can we say? We can say, yes, for example, course. yes. Yes, of course. Ah, we can say, yes, of course. Look, yes, teacher, I'm certain. Imagine if I say, guys, did you take a shower today? No shower. I don't remember. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh -huh. Did you take a shower? Yes or no? No. Of no. course not. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay. I was expecting a positive answer, but <laughs> only in the night. In the night. Ah, only at night. Okay. Now another question then. Guys, did you have lunch today? Uh -huh. I'm absolutely sure. Uh -huh, very good. <laughs> um, everybody, will you pass to the next level to intermediate five? Mm, I'm not sure. Okay. About it. I, I'm okay. <laughs> actually sure. Very good. I'm absolutely Sure. Yes, sure. yes. Come on, guys. Um, what do you think, guys? Will you drink coffee tomorrow? Yes, of course. Of course. Yes, of course. Or imagine you can even say, I have no doubt about it. Okay. Um, let's see another question. Mm, do you believe in God? Uh-huh. Yeah. Absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. Ah. Sure. Absolutely. Of course. So look, when I ask you a question, instead of just saying yes, you can use these phrases. Yes, I'm certain. Or Yes, I am a hundred percent certain. I'm absolutely sure. I have no doubt about it. I'm sure about it. You can also say, I don't think there can be any doubt about it. Of course, this is one of the most common ones, but guys, we can say some different ones. I'm positive. I'm quite sure about it. This one, instead of saying quite, we can also say pretty. I'm pretty sure about it. Or I'm no doubt about it. I am absolutely certain that. Teacher, yes. What is translation, the expression I am quite sure about, about it? I'm quite sure means a lot. Like, estoy bastante seguro. That is a translation. Mm -hmm. If you use the phrase, I'm pretty sure, the translation is the same. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Very good. So guys, these are expressions that shows certainty. That means that you are completely sure about your answer. Is it clear? Yes. Take notes. Take notes because we are going to use them in the next class. 
So, what happens if we are not sure? We can use different phrases. Here we got phrases that shows uncertainty. Imagine if I say, guys, do you think that the aliens exist? What do you think? I'm not really sure about. Good. I'm not really sure about it. What about you guys? Do you think that the aliens exist? I don't know for sure. <laughs> uh -huh, very good. Don't know yet. I don't think so. Ah, very good. So I don't know yet. I don't think so. I don't know for sure. Now, um, what do you think? Will it rain tomorrow? I don't believe this is true. <laughs> okay. What else? I'm not really 100% sure. Uh -huh, very good. I'm not 100% sure. What else? It's very unlikely. Okay, it's very unlikely. I heard someone else. Uh huh. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Very good. Um, let's see. Will you have a surprising exam tomorrow during the class? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I don't think. I so. doubt it. Doubt I it. doubt it. Okay. Doubt it. <laughs> doubt. Uh -huh. Teacher, the pronunciation. Doubt. Doubt it. Doubt it. Remember that here you just link the sound. Doubt. What is the last sound of doubt? Doubt it. Doubt it. Thank you. So, exam tomorrow. What do you think? <laughs> I don't believe it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it's true. Um, do you think that tomorrow you will find money in the streets? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. A lot of kind of disappointed, but okay. How about you guys? Will you find money tomorrow? There is some doubt in my mind that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pretty good. Will you work on the platform tomorrow? I'm not, I'm not sure. really sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was expecting certainty. Remember, we can combine. Uh huh. Will you work on the platform tomorrow? Oh, of course, teacher. <laughs> Thank you. My gosh. And the rest of you? I didn't think so. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my goodness, guys. So listen, these are some examples of certainty expressions that we can use. Okay, so let's just stop saying just yes, no, I don't know, <laughs> right? <laughs> so let's try to increase our vocabulary. Remember that that's the purpose for the intermediate levels. Stop saying just yes. Stop saying just of course or I don't know. No, let's change it. We can try to increase it and let's try to use more vocabulary. Sorry, teacher. Uh, the, the expression I'm positive is I'm sure, like, like uh, I'm sure or, or yes. I'm positive. I'm, I know, listen, the translation here is not like, I soy positivo, uh -huh. right? <laughs> that is not the translation in this scenario. If I ask you, are you sure? If you say, I'm positive, that means, yes, I'm sure, okay? The translation is not going to be, I soy positivo, not really. So this means, okay. I'm sure, okay? Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. 
Do you have any question, guys, about these expressions? Yes? No? Okay, so tomorrow we are going to see some other expressions that we can use, expressions of certainty. And we are going to continue with that, but tomorrow, because right now, unfortunately, we don't have more time. So before leaving, again, uh, one of you has to stay. And the winner for today is Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Are you there? Carlos, hello. Okay, I think that Carlos is sleeping. Okay, Carlos, if you're there, you have to stay. The rest of you, everybody, you can go to sleep. Have a beautiful night and see Thank you tomorrow. You. Goodbye, Bye. goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Everybody goes, only Carlos stays. Goodbye, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. See you. Goodbye. Only Carlos stays. Okay. Hello, Carlos. Are you there? Can you hear me? Hello, Carlos. Are you there? Can you hear me? Okay, Carlos, if you don't answer, we are not going to proceed with the one-on-one uh, -on -one meeting. So are you there? No? Okay, in this case, we are not going to proceed with the own a uh, one-on-one -on -one meeting because Mr. Uh, Abrego doesn't answer. I consider that he's no longer in the meeting. Okay, we're going to stop right here. We'll continue tomorrow.